Hey guys, it's me. I'm just going to be doing a video on how to set up and how to keep a pet hermit crab. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do to really take care of your hermit crab is to make sure that you have a good substrate. And I know people say that sand gets into their shells and irritates their skin, but if you want to put sand, that's fine, as long as... You know, there's is you if you give your hermit crab just dip it in water at the end of every day. That's what I do for Lulu, or not Lulu anymore. It's gonna be a different name because I figured out it's a boy. So you, I have sand here, fresh from Alabama. Um, make sure it's l nice and loosely put in. You don't want it to be patted down because then it makes it hard for them to bury themselves whenever it's time to molt. And make sure that it's deep. As you can see, it goes up to my second knuckle, which is good enough for her to bury herself when she molts. And I make a nice hill right here. I pat it down a little bit so it stays, but I have her a little hill right here for if she wants to climb. And I have the food and water dishes already put in there because I don't want to take them out. And the second thing you need is just something for them to walk on or climb on. This is just a stone I found on the beach. It's like a piece of sheet of rock. I have this broken conch shell that she likes to just I just put it in the tank for decoration. Then I have this little palm tree. Um whoops. It's just like a stick with a little palm tree in the top. I stick that on the hill to give her a little um shade from the heat lamp and then what you're gonna need is just a shell for them to climb on as well I'm just gonna put that right here random place for it but just something for her to climb on if she wants to get away from all the sand then you're gonna want to have a hut for her or some kind of hiding place like a coconut husk something just a little place for the hide you can place that anywhere I'm gonna pat it down just a little bit so it's even okay then you're gonna want a nice dish I have some string beans some cheese and a little bit of chives I give her different vegetables and fruits every two days. This is the first day that she has that. I just put it in there um, yesterday, so I'm going to change it tomorrow. And you want something for them to hide under as well if they don't want to stay in their hut. It, this is just like a little shell that is broken and has a little um, hiding place that's good inside of it. As you can see, she can just go underneath it if she wants to. And then, you're going to need a sponge. I just put a shell underneath it so that why it doesn't leak into the sand. But make it easy for them to get in and out of so they don't drown. Which they won't drown with the sponges, but if they do. Then you're going to need extra shells. Just place them in a corner that they can pick whichever shell they want. Place them a little upright so that why the sand doesn't get into them and it makes it easier for them to get inside of the shells and to pick to pick which shell they want. Sorry, my English is bad. Um, yeah, just like that. Then you're going to want to have a little wire or something for them to crawl on. I just have some chicken wire and I just place it right here. So she has something to climb onto, and if she wants to hang up there, she can. Then you're going to want to put in your hermit crab. This is the most important thing. I figured out it's a boy, so I need a boy name for her. Put it in the comments below, or for him. Uh, it's relatively small. I will be getting another hermit crab for her, and for him to be friends with. Now, this is the important part. You're going to need to keep the tank humidified. How I keep it humidified is take two damp cloths 
Oh, I forgot one thing. You can also need to put the lid on. I just have some mesh lid so she can actually crawl up her little wire and onto the top if she wants to. And she's got sand, so if she falls, she'll be fine. He'll be fine. I keep saying she. Um, just put the damp cloth on top of the cage like this. Make sure it covers most of the cage like this. Then I'm just gonna. I have another one to put on the other side. Then I'm just leaving a little spot right here for air to come in. Then I have a heat lamp right here to keep it warm. And you want to make sure you turn the heat lamp off at night so it doesn't burn the wire and doesn't hurt your crab. So, uh, yeah. And that's basically how you take care of a hermit crab. And if you ever have any trouble um, with your hermit crab, like, they lose legs, it's fine, they're fine. I mean, it's just like us losing a meal. I mean, it's really not a thing to them. As long as they don't have any other hermit crabs in the tank that want to fight them, they'll be fine. So, thank you guys for watching the video, and see you later.